March 7th, 2022, Bali is open again. We're gonna talk about the nine things you need to know before you come to Bali. So up until this point, the only visa that was available for foreigners to basically obtain to come here to Bali was a B211A visa. And we've come a long way because we went from, basically when I came here in June 2021, we had to quarantine for five days, then it went up to seven days, then it went up to eight, it even went up to 10 days at some point. It had gone down to three days and then it went up again. It was a, it was a very a roller coaster the whole time. So initially when we moved to Asia, we actually moved to Vietnam, but when we left Miami and decided to actually come to Asia, we actually did our research. We were well prepared before we left Miami to Asia because we had no plans of coming back in the next few months. But there are still a few things that once, after a few months of being in, in, in Vietnam at the time, we wished we had done while we were still home. This week, Bali has announced they are offering visa on arrivals again. And if you don't know what that means, that means you can actually just arrive directly in Bali at the airport and receive a 30-day visa. So the first thing obviously that you usually have to do is apply for a visa. Now you may need to do this, especially if you're applying for a B211A visa, but if you are gonna be looking for the, the visa on arrival, you can just show up here. But, but I have to say this because things are changing every single day. When I say every single day, an, an official announcement is made today and tomorrow you might find out it is not what's actually happening. So you must check an updated source. So I'm gonna tell you that I personally got my visa and they're not sponsoring this video, but I got my visa from this company called Bali Solve and it just happened to be that they're one of the most trusted sources here for information about visa news. I would highly suggest that you actually follow them on Instagram. They have all the updates and the news about visa situations. So check Bali Solve's Instagram page for all the updates. So the next thing you'll need is a return ticket, basically showing proof that you have already arranged your departure from Indonesia. Um, so there are many things you can do. You can just look for a cheap ticket to Singapore or whatever else. There's many different things and solutions. Google how to get uh, a cheap return ticket solutions on Google and you'll find other options. Now another thing that I usually always talk about in my traveling videos is getting a digital mail service. So that is basically since you're leaving your hometown you don't have a home address for, to receive your mail unless you're having them shipped to your family members and then they have to send you pictures and videos about what you received and all that. You can actually get a digital mail service. I am personally not recommending anyone specifically, but you can just Google digital mail service and choose one because there are some things I'm not too happy about with mine personally. But what it does is it receives my mail, they open, they scan the picture of the outside of the mail and if I see it's something that's not too important, for example, something that doesn't have my social security number on it, then I'll click scan. They will open it, they will scan it, and then they will upload the PDF on their dashboard. So I have access to all my mail on my computer. If it's something important, I can just click ship, ship it to my mom or my sister or my dad or whatever, and have them open that for me if it's something very sensitive and important or I can just discard it. So if it's junk mail, I click discard, discard or I can shred it, whatever. You can click, you can do whatever you want with it. So it's like having somebody taking care of your mail on your behalf and everything is here on your computer's dashboard. So that has saved me a lot of time, not having to wait you know, for parents or friends or family to open that mail for me when I receive it, etc. It happens automatically. And it's not expensive, you, from like, 15 bucks, I think you can find a good one online. And the next thing you'll need, and I know many people ignore this and they always regret it, is having, or they regret not having health insurance. Health insurance is very important. In fact, the one I use personally, I have it in the link in the description, but I always talk about it in many of my videos because I use it because it is half health insurance and half travel insurance. So for only $40 a month is what I pay, I get covered if my baggage gets damaged while, while traveling, if it gets lost, they will reimburse me for that. If a flight gets canceled, 
they will reimburse me for that. If I had to unexpectedly stay at a hotel because my flight was delayed, they will reimburse you for that. Um, now, if I, while you're traveling and you get to Bali and for example, you slip and you fall and you have to go to the hospital, they will cover that too. So whatever, if, if you have, you know, if you catch the pandemic thing that's been going around, they will cover you for that too. So it's like having a very cheap health insurance, which is very affordable and it's like a membership. It's only $40 a month. You cancel it whenever you don't have to pay for six months in advance or anything like that. You cancel whenever you don't need it anymore. So I highly recommend it in the description box under this video. I know many people always, I think the new YouTube on the phone app is not really easy to get to the description, but right under the video, there will be a little arrow, click it, it will open up the description. You'll find the link there. Before you start traveling, they may actually request for proof of insurance. So that's something you may need anyways. So go ahead and click in the link in the description. One of the next things you'll need is a universal power adapter. You can find them at CVS if you're in the US, CVS or any store or Amazon. You can just order one there. Personally, I've bought a lot of my electronics here in Asia, so I don't need them anymore, but you will likely need to use it. So as far as accommodation, do not book any long-term accommodation or book in advance. Just get yourself an Airbnb for a week um, or two. And then when you get here, start posting or start posting while you're home on the Facebook groups. There are many Bali accommodations. You can just type on, on, on Facebook, Bali accommodations, um, villas in Bali, villas for rent in Bali. You'll find a bunch of Facebook groups, join them and you can scroll through and see what posts are already there. Or you can post saying your budget and what you're looking for. Maybe you need a guest house, which is where, you know, they might have like 10 rooms and there's a shared living room and a shared kitchen and all that. Or you can get your own private villa. Maybe you can get a two, three bedroom and share that with friends of yours. But whatever you need, make a post on the Facebook group. That is the best place to actually find villas and guest houses around here. In fact, I might be in the process of looking for one myself. Uh, because we might have to move out of our place currently because we are in a surf camp. Um, it was a surf camp before the pandemic started, but because they had no clients, they started renting out the rooms, but now there are people coming again, so they're gonna start the surf camp again, therefore we're probably gonna have to move and look for another place. Anyways, we enjoyed the time we had here. And the next thing you might wanna do, uh, maybe before you get here, is to download Gojek and Grab. Those are different um, apps like Uber. For example, you want to go somewhere, you can book a bike there. So you can book a car or a, or a motorbike to pick you up and take you wherever you want to go. It's like Uber. Or you can get food. So there's like Uber Eats in the US or in the West. Here you can use Gojek or Grab to order your food and have it delivered to your house or wherever you are. Now let's talk about the few things that I did not do that I wished I had done before coming here to Asia. First, Open an online bank with no foreign transaction fees. Well, you don't have to open an online bank, but whatever your bank, the bank you're using, make sure you can get a card that doesn't charge you for foreign transaction fees or ATM fees. I recommend, or and I personally like Charles Schwab. It's a popular option. Um, it's online and I don't get charged for anything. So I can go to the ATM, take my money from there and I don't get charged an ATM fee. Uh, I can buy at any store that I want here and I won't get charged for being overseas. And the next thing is to get yourself uh, an international driver's license, all right? So you likely have a car driving license back home, but here everybody uses a motorbike, all right, or a motorcycle. You can't use your driver's license from home to ride a motorcycle here legally. So get yourself a motorcycle driver's license at home and then get the international driver's license done from that home license, all right? So you'll need to have the motorcycle driver's license first before you can convert it into an international driver's license. And then you can actually legally ride a motorcycle here. And also, if you get into a motorcycle accident, in order for the insurance to cover you, they will want you to have been riding legally. And if you don't have your international driver's license, you're technically not legally writing it, therefore they might not cover you for that. So that's one thing that a lot of people don't have. I would say most people don't have, but 
I can save you a lot of trouble. Get yourself a motorcycle license at home, get your international driver's license, and you can save yourself a lot of money when you get here. Now this was a rather quick overview, but if you'd like a very detailed list of what to do before and after you arrive in Bali, check out this video. And until next time, create a life worth living.